Hola familia. Hello, hello everyone. How are we all doing? Just setting up the Instagram right now. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Let me know when you're in. Very excited for today's live stream. Yay. So grateful to see you guys showing up in such a magnificent way. Really good. Yay. Okay, we're live on Instagram too. That's good. Hello everyone. Here we go. Got a lot of goodies for you guys today thank you all for showing up thank you all for your commitment so uh, certain themes I want to talk on today I know many of you are like okay let's hear about the quantum flow scholarships and I have great news guys because I've been very inspired by all your comments and everything you're doing in the world so I've, I've got really good news for you all okay but before that I wanted to talk uh, about a, a theme that has come up in uh, some of my live streams, people reaching out. In what I've summarized it, it's um, something that's called in psychology or science, it's called imposter syndrome. And it's also called the fraud syndrome. And it's something that happens no matter how successful you are and how much you do and how much you accomplish from like being a good mom to like being a billionaire and having uh, 40 companies what it doesn't matter what kind of success because it's all success right in different areas but it's all success really it's as important as being a great mother as being uh, uh you know someone that's doing good in the world and, and and you know creating companies that give work for people and especially if it's heart-centered you know entrepreneurship that's where it's it's really going right but you know there's there's always uh, success in everything but with this syndrome, it's like you never feel it's enough. There's always more. There's always something you did wrong, right? It doesn't matter where you're coming from. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter. Like, it's part of the personality. And something I saw also, um, this imposter syndrome, it's like knowing your purpose, knowing why you're here and what you love to do and not being able to step into it because you feel you're going to be judged, because you feel um, you're going to be crucified, because maybe you're not good enough to do that, because maybe you don't have that enough experience, because maybe whatever judgment comes in your mind, um, it's coming from the same place, same place. It's the ego, it's the part of us that's never enough, never feels good enough in order to, right? So, hola, hola, familia, see you all showing up. Just gonna say hello here. Mm, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, need to see this later. Yeah, man, all good, we're all here, united. Thank you for creating this vortex. Remember, hey, Fad, Kristen, Saga, Leti, Maria. Rosa, David, Annette, Celine, all of you guys, thank you, thank you for letting me know you're here. Even if you're watching the replay, you know I always come back to you. Hey, Mark, what's up, Oksana? So many beautiful people. Thank you, tribe. What's up here? Love from Verena in Portugal. Hey, Verena, what's up? Oh, yeah. It's harder for me on Instagram because I don't know your name. So you got to write your name so I can I can get to know you a little better. I just see Na, Na Julia and Kayane and Breeze, Bonnie and Jose Cashu. You know, like, yeah, it would be great if you can share, you know, where you're tuning in from and and, and your name. So we get start to get to know each other, right? Um, so I was talking about this imposter syndrome that I feel is something coming up because... Guys, I feel there's so much need right now in humanity for help. Helping each other, supporting each other, rising together, right? It's a time to rise together. It's not anymore putting our powers away to the leaders, to the presidents, to the people outside. We know that has been a mess 
in politics, right? So the new politics is really the one that comes from within, our sovereignty. But our sovereignty doesn't come from a rebel place or let me go burn down the government house and create a mess. It's, it's not from violence, right? That's the same ego pushing against each other and you're, you're just going to create a mess. It's really from a place of your sovereignty, your being, your choice, your choice, what you buy, what you do, where you go, who you're supporting, right? How you're breathing, how you're moving, how you're speaking to your children, how are you contributing in the world? How are you living in community? Do you have a tribe, a community? Are you guys getting together and supporting each other? Because that community, guys, that lifestyle that you start building, you start making it stronger and bigger and bigger and bigger, right? Until it's a whole city, until it's the whole world. What if, I ask you, what if the whole world will stand right now and say, no, we're done with politics, we're done with precedence. No, this is not working. You guys are stealing the whole money. You guys are not really taking care of us. This is a mess. At the end, it's all the same thing. It's ruled by the same people when you look at it deep inside. And I could go on forever. This is not about politics. This is about leadership and owning our power and waking up to our power, right? And sometimes when we do that, right, and we start speaking our truth and we start helping others and we start like supporting uh, other people, um, we feel that imposter syndrome. It's like, who am I to say that? <clears throat> I didn't study anything. Why am I giving that advice? Oh, why did I say that? Oh my God, what are they going to think? Oh, they're going to think I'm a failure. They're going to they're gonna think I'm fake. They're going to think I'm just trying to be something I'm not, right? It's always that fear of judgment and not really tuning into what you want to do, who you are, why are you here? <clears throat> And that seeing you guys show up, so many of you show up and letting me know why you wanted the Quantum Flow Scholarship, right? If you haven't seen this before, I have been giving, uh, I'm giving away uh, three scholarships for the Quantum Flow Certification, which is a certification where you are rewiring your whole nervous system, your brain, you're shifting negative emotions to like emotions of creativity and inspiration you're shifting your mindset you're becoming strong in your body healthy like it works on every area of your life and it's based on movement breath work quantum science quantum physics um neuroscience neuroplasticity kinesiology chinese medicine um cultic philosophy tantra yoga, qigong, like it's been my passion since I'm nine, right? So I've put a system together and I have been sharing that system with the world, traveling all over the world with this system and helping thousands of people. So I'm like, okay, I want to help people that can't pay for this and that they want to help others. And it's been amazing, guys. I've been so inspired to hear your stories who you want to help. There's people helping orphanages, like people that, that are old and really need support. Um, uh, whole communities that are poor and really need help right now. There's, there's one that reached out that's working on a jail and it's like going with them, you know, every week to share just philosophy and mindset and they want something deeper to help them. Like there's so much that I've seen and I'm so grateful to see you all showing up in whatever way. There's people that just are so committed to help their family. And they know that it starts within them, but they really want to share from their experience whatever's possible to help their families. Like, I've been inspired in so many ways because when you're serving others, when you're giving, right? It doesn't matter if it's one person. It doesn't matter if it's a whole community. It doesn't matter if it's the whole world. When you are touching one person, you touch one person's heart, you're going to touch all their relationships. One person's heart, you touch their whole family. Just because that person woke up, just because that person got inspired, that's just because that person stopped for a second and said, oof, you got me thinking. Wait, what did you say? Whoa, you got me questioning my life. I see you're, you're kind of shining. You're, you're feeling really good. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I want to do what you're doing, right? You, you get to be a reflection for people to support them 
to be the best version of themselves. And that's the best way to tap into your purpose, right? And many times when you're feeling this call, many times when you're doing this already, you question yourself, oh, but I, I don't really have enough science to do this. I, I don't have a training to do this. Um, I haven't really gone to uh, after high school or high, I haven't even been to high school. Whatever comes through your mind, right? And then that's the ego questioning. When in your soul, in your essence, it's just you want to help. You love serving others. You love seeing others thrive. And you start seeing how you thrive also through supporting others thrive. You feel good through seeing others go beyond their challenges and transform their challenges into opportunities, right? It's such a gift. It's such a celebration. For me, there's nothing more fulfilling than that, right? But it, it wasn't always like this for me, guys. It wasn't always like this. I had a, an imposter syndrome like many times, and that was part of my self-sabotage. Um, I was talking the other day in this live stream when I was in this community, this spiritual community, that it wasn't just about spirituality and praying. It was a spiritual community I looked for because I felt into a pattern of addiction. I had been fully submerged in spirituality since I was nine years old, meditating, doing yoga, you know, drinking smoothies, like all of it, helping my brother that was dying, right? I was fully committed into that. But when I got to 16, I was kind of done. I, I was kind of like, I was never a child almost, you know? I never really got to to live life and just have fun, you know? I always tried to be like the father in the house, taking care of everyone and seeing that my mother wouldn't suffer because my mother was having such, such, so much suffering with my brother, you know? So I'm like, I can't give any suffering. I can't be the bad guy of the movie. I only have to bring the best grades. I always have to have a smile. I always have to eat everything. I always have to be the perfect angel, right? And I was like, oh my God, everybody was proud of me. But inside of me, I had a lot of emotions I wasn't dealing with because I thought it was bad, right? So I was stuffing myself with all these emotions until I exploded. And I went to the other side of the table where it was like, I don't care. I don't care about spirituality. I'm done with this. I started, you know, taking substances and almost doing like my own party version of spirituality. And I kind of got lost into it. So lost that I was wanting to die. I was wanting to take away my life many times. And, um, it was one of the hardest moments of my life until I found this community, this community that was spiritual, but it was all about go, cut grass, clean dishes, learn how to do bread, learn how to do cheese, go plant in the earth, get your hands dirty, you know, go walk into the jungle and be, bring those bananas for everyone, go clean shoes, like all of it and learning how all of that was spiritual. So for me, spiritual, it wasn't just like, I was done with the spiritual part of like meditating and yoga and all that stuff. I was done. I didn't even want to know about it for a while, you know? I was just like, I, I just want to be my essence. I want to, I want to know who I am. I, I want to know why I'm here. Like it's beyond what I'm doing. Like what is it inside of me and what made me crave so much something outside of me? Give my power away to something. Because it, it had always been something. In that, in that moment, it was drugs, right? At 16 years old, of course, my teenagers, I got lost in, in substances. But before that, I was lost in, 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 in sugar. I was lost in, 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 in sex. I was lost in many different things. In sports, guys, I used to be like champion, right? A champion, like first in, 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 in triathlete and swimming and, and, and running, like all of it, guys. Very intense. You, you see, you know how intense I am and obsessed I am. So I got obsessed with sports and I had to prove to myself and my parents, I was the best. I was the champion, right? And that didn't get me very far because I was pushing it too much, guys, and actually disconnecting from myself because I was running away from myself. I wasn't doing it for healthy reasons. I was running away from my emotions. So I would train four hours a day, right, in order to not to feel what I was feeling. 
who relates to that at some point of your life, right? So, um, I knew I had something to work with, right? And I went into this community to like, okay, let me go into this and see what's going on. What's going on in my life right now, okay? And when I went deep into that, I found that it was really the disconnection from my higher self, disconnection from my essence, disconnection from, from the simplicity of being. And I started discovering that. The simple things, the breath, the beauty of a flower, of a sunset, the beauty of a smile, we would work with children from, from the streets and just seeing them smile and seeing their, their eyes shine would make me so happy. Like all these simple things I wasn't appreciating in life because in my mind I thought in order to be someone or successful, I had to accomplish all these other things that wasn't really filling me up. So that's when I started understanding life in the simplest way possible. And that's where I really feel my real spiritual life started, you know, with simplicity. Not when I was doing yoga and meditating and all that. That came after from a place of realness and from my essence. But it, it wasn't that. It's not about what we do. It's about the connection that we are living from inside. You can do four hours of yoga and not be connected to your higher self. I promise you, I've done that. Four hours of stretching, of breathing, of meditation, of all of it. And yes, I, I disappear and I... But... It's just an experience. I go out of my body. But when I come back, I'm not guided by my higher self. I'm not connected to my intuition. I'm not really feeling what is the highest for me, you know? I just run away from myself and come back. There's a lot of people playing those spiritual realms, but really it's about being here and now and bringing those teachings to the now, right? And that's what I was doing in this community to a point, I was, I was in Italy at this point, right? Two years, lived there, like studying all the psychology of humanity, studying all the human behavior, studying everything about self-sabotage and studying everything about habits and studying everything about how the mind works and how we can biohack the mind to live a beautiful, you know, simple, fulfilling life. That's all I wanted. I was done, right? <laughs> I was done with everything I had done before. So here I am after two years, I was so dedicated. One day, the, one of the spiritual teachers of the, of the community tells me, Quampa, you're ready to go back to Costa Rica and now you are the leader. There's 60 people there waiting for you. You have all the teachings you receive in Italy. Good luck. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Imposter syndrome. I'm not good enough. What is he talking about? I have no experience. What am I going to do? Who is there? I haven't been there two years. What's going on? So much came through, even though I felt like pumped and like inside I knew it was part of my mission, but I was, I was in so much fear, guys. I arrived to Costa Rica and it was the most surprising experience I've had. I arrived there and I was like, okay, I'm going to be the leader. Let me just take that. Fake it till you make it. They're going to feel my my power and my strength and everything I've learned in Italy. They haven't been in Italy, like fully approaching it from my ego, right? So I go there, I'm sitting down in the table first night and I just, you know, I try to connect with them. Like I'm not feeling that connection. And all of a sudden they're, they're, they're looking at me laughing, just laughing and no words. They would just laugh at me, wouldn't even listen to me. So then we go to the meeting and I'm, I'm supposed to guide the meeting. I'm starting to talk in the meeting and they're talking between each other and they're laughing. And it's like if I don't exist, guys, I'm like imposter syndrome. Okay, fake it till you make it. <laughs> Didn't work. I am messed up. I'm getting out of here. I can't do this. Right? <laughs> oh my God. I, I tried so hard. I got really angry. I got like very angry thinking that if I would get angry and I'm the one that says, I, I'm the one that has the last word here. I'm the one like that says, where are you going and what are you doing? And don't talk to that person and don't do that. And now you're going to work down into the fields because you're speaking like that to me. And like, I played all these roles of the distorted masculine that I'm very embarrassed to say now, but that's real. It was my way to defend myself. You know, imposter syndrome comes through one or two, or you defend yourself and go pushing towards it, which is worst, 
or you kind of back out and say, no, that's not me. Oh my God, I'm not here to help the world. No, 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 that's too much for me. What are they going to say? I'm just going to hide in my little cave, right? And I did that too at some point, but this time I'm like, I'm going for it. I'm here and you know, the spiritual teacher is waiting for me and like, he has all his faith in me and, and I know this is part of my path and I pushed for like a week. It was one of the worst weeks of my life until I just had a talk with, with um, Don Pierino, that was his name, an Italian uh, priest. And um, I told him, I'm, I'm, I'm done, I can't do this, this is not for me. And I told him all the methodologies I was doing. And he just told me, Wampa, have you tried to just, just speak from your heart, just simplicity? You don't have to teach anything. You don't just start sharing like your experience. Why did you get into drugs? Why about your addiction? And how did you come out of it? And what did you learn from it? Have you just been simple like that? Or are you trying to, to share all the philosophy of what you've learned? And I'm like, no, I've, I've been just sharing all the philosophy. I've learned all these two years for something. Like, this is why I'm here. He's like, no. You're here to share your heart. You're here, you're here to be you. You're not here to... That's the real leader. The real leader is not the one that commands and controls others. The real leader is the one that shows up, raw and real. That's it. That's all you need to do. And if some people know more than you, and you know, there was a psychologist, there was a millionaire that was like an investor, whatever, in like, like 30 of the most famous companies in Costa Rica. There were all these kinds of people that got lost in addiction and crazy lives, but now they were all there in the middle of nowhere in San Vito Cotobruz, here in the south of Costa Rica in the jungle, in the middle of nowhere, right? Just living a life trying to come back to their essence, but some of them didn't even want to do it. They were done. They were there because of their families or they wanted, but they didn't want to really do the work. And, you know, they were in rebel mode. So, of course, they see this kid showing up. I was 20 years old and he's like, who do you think I am? I'm 50. I've been everywhere. You haven't even been in the streets. You were addicted for how many months? Like, you have no idea what this is. Like, they would like, cru they crucified me, guys. Like, deep, deep, deep. The, the deepest judgments I've ever felt. <laughs> and that really got me humbled. And the moment I just let go of that imposter syndrome and I just said, you know what, guys? I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm going to tell you, I just want to share with you guys how hard this has been and how my only intention was to help you guys and to be here for you guys and keep going on my path because I still feel like I haven't found my purpose. I haven't found like who I really am. I, I'm, I'm still in the search. And it's really hard times for me. So, so, so I'm sorry that I've reacted. I understand you guys feel touched. What is this kid doing? Like, of course, you're right. They, 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 they chose me because of my commitment and, and, and because of my raw and realness. That's why they chose me to be the leader in this community, you know, but not because everything I know. So, let me just get raw and real with you guys. And I just shared with them everything, like about my emotions, about being strong, about faking it, about, you know, um, going so deep into like sports or sex or any kind of addiction that at the end I was just running away from myself and all the emptiness I felt and, and how good it felt when I let go of that and I was still nurturing that part inside of me and how good it felt that I didn't need anything or anyone anymore to be happy because I felt like I was in jail when I was depending so much from something outside of me to be happy. Like, I just opened up myself. I cried. I guys and we had the best meeting ever like all the men because it was just men there was no woman just it was just a men thing so imagine it was like fully alpha right they all brought their guards down and they started sharing like from the depths of their like hearts what was going on with their families what was going on with themselves with their emotions people crying we finished like hugging each other unreal unreal and why did this happen? Because I was me. I wasn't trying to be someone. I wasn't trying to repeat what I have read or what I had learned from the teachers. I wasn't faking it till I make it. I, I was just me. I was just telling my, my story. Your story, guys, is here is to inspire so many people. Just your story. 
just you being raw and real wherever you're at and, and giving yourself that space to open up. If others feel that and they feel that safety with you, that's the biggest help you can do to someone. The biggest. I don't care how many books, I don't care how many trainings, you know how many leaders out there are just talking heads, just talking, 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 talking of everything they know and all the theories and all the science. Well, thank you so much. Give me some real stuff. What are your struggles? What are your challenges? Tell me your story. I want to hear about you. Let me know how you went through those challenges so I can do the same on mine. Get raw and real. What are your weaknesses? And how you turn your weaknesses into your strengths. I want to know about that. I'm done with listening to all the theories and everything that's blah, 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 blah. Of all the books they've memorized. You know, it's the typical journey of the leader on this world. That's why you are a leader. That's why we are all leaders. The moment you stand up and you're raw and real and you say, you know what? I want to help those orphanages. I want to help those people in jail. I want to help my family. I want to help myself. Like, you know what? I'm not feeling good right now. I know I'm not in a good moment in my life. Why am I faking it that I don't need help? Why? Come on, Juanpa, what's going on? I'm never going to shift if I don't accept where I'm at right now. It's the first step of quantum flow. Get raw and real. It's the grounding space. Where are you right now in this time? So I, now I would love to hear from you guys before I talk about the scholarships, before I talk about more about quantum flow. I'd love to hear about you guys if you ever have felt that imposter syndrome. If you ever have felt that you want to give an advice, but you're not, you don't feel good enough to do that, or you don't have the training to do that, or you feel that you're going to be judged, or you feel that they're not going to believe you, or you're going to have fraud. Because really what is fraud, guys? That is an illusion of the mind. There's no fraud. There's just lessons we learn. Fraud doesn't exist. Fraud doesn't exist. It's your ego that says, oh, I'm a fraud. Oh, I, I failed again. What is fa Go and see all the geniuses. How many times they failed. Do you see their failures at the end? You don't. They, you see their accomplishments, their companies, what they have done, and who they are, and what they've become, what they've embodied. You know, but then when you go study their lives, go look at that. Look how hard it was to get where they're at, you know. Their failures is what made them who they are. So failures doesn't exist. It's just the thing of the mind. And I would love to know from you guys, um, have you ever felt that? I would love to hear from you. You know, if you understand that imposter syndrome, like, oh, maybe you're a coach, you're an innate coach, you want to help others, but like, oh, no, I can't do that. Oh, no, that's, what are they going to say? Oh, no, I, no, it's not for me. No, whatever, uh, but I want to say an advice all the time. I want to help people. I, I, really, I really thrive from that, no, but, but, that, but that's not me. Let me just um, uh, look somewhere else and go back into my closet because that's not me, <laughs> right? That, that's where I was, right? I just told you my story, like, really vulnerable. So, yeah, I would love to hear from you guys. Check here on Facebook family. Yeah, so much. Oh yeah, this is raw and real. That's what it's all about. A room full of egos. Juan, but this is mind blowing, inspiring. So much respect and love. Uh, love this. At the very core, yes, my brother. Oh my God, so many comments. Yes, I have imposter syndrome. There you go. Yes, I'm afraid of failing, thinking I'm doing right or what, what, what I do is good enough or not. I know, guys, this is human. This is human. All your comments I'm seeing, don't feel bad about it. That's the thing. You see how that's, go study. Go, go, go look for imposter syndrome. Everything I, I talk about, I always like, look, what's happening on humanity? You know, I love studying humanity. It's part of what I do, right? So it's like, What's been the pattern in humanity? What's going on? Guys, like it's proof, like more than 80% live the imposter syndrome. Like what is imposter syndrome really? Like you have self-doubt, you have frustration, you're a perfectionist, you don't feel good enough, there's always more. You have self-sabotage because of the same thing, you go in mind loops. That is really it, if you analyze it, right? So yes, 
it's in all of us. But what happens? Oh, no, that's bad. No, no, I'm not going to share that. No, I'm already successful. Look, I have this amount of money. Like, oh, look at my relationship. I have a family, right? Isn't it about having a family and having a house? And I did that already. I'm successful. You know, it's the mind, the ego kind of protecting you. And that's what the ego wants, wants to protect you, to stay always in the same box. But it's your comfortable zone. That's not where you thrive. You don't thrive in your comfortable zone and you won't get out of your comfortable zone until you realize you're still stuck in those places that you don't want to see of yourself, right? And once you see them and it's like, whoa, and you talk about them and you're like, whoa, you know what? Yeah, I've always dreamed to serve humanity, to help. Like I have big visions. I have big dreams and I let them go, I don't know, 10 years ago because it was too much for me, because they laughed at me, because they ridiculized me. Guys, I, I, I wanted to run away from that community forever and not see them ever again. I wanted to kill myself. Like a couple of nights when I was back in the room, I was like, I had the thoughts of having a knife and just cutting my wrist because I felt like, what am I doing? This is, this is like the most ridiculous thing. I go to Italy, study two years. I give everything I have. I have the best intentions. I'm, I'm full on rocking it. I come here and they completely spit on my face and treat me as whatever they want to treat me. And I let that happen because I, I still had the imposter syndrome going. So of course I was like, I just reacted, but inside I was feeling the worst, right? So it's very human, guys. And this is what happens when we act from ego and we react. It's action and reaction. We're not responding. We're reacting. And that's why war happens, right? What would have happened if I stand up and then the other guy stand up and then, okay, man, and then I hit him and we hit back. Isn't that war? It's exactly the same. I felt it many times. To just kick their ass, you know, probably they'll kill it. They'll kick my ass because they were over 50 people and it was me and they were all against me, uh, you know, because <laughs> they, they had been together for a while. I was, I was new, you know, I hadn't been there for a long time. So they, they, they didn't even know about me. Who is this guy? Because he just went to Italy thinking he can come and say what, whatever he wants and tell us what to do and who we are and tell us about life. You're a baby. You're still shitting in your pants. <laughs> That's what they tell me, right? It was hard, guys. But instead of reacting from my ego, I'm like, let me look at my imposter syndrome and feeling I'm a failure. Let me look how affected I am by judgment. Let me look how I'm reacting. And I'm trying to convince them how much I know and that I'm their leader. Let me look at that. Let me, let me allow myself to feel that fire instead of exploding. You see? I'm going to repeat that for you guys. When you feel the fire of reaction in a relationship, in your job, something that didn't happen and you feel the fire, whatever the fire is, you know what that fire is? It's your ego burning down. Things weren't as I planned them to be. They just spoke to me in this way. I can't believe they did that again. Oh my God, is that like... All these words that come in your mind as a reaction of something that happened outside of you that's touching your ego for some reason. There is something inside of you that's still triggered by that reflection of your outside world. Simple as that. So instead of us pointing fingers and saying how bad you are and you're still doing that and judging, it's like, oh, why am I still triggered? Ah, oh. okay, let me look at that. Because you know what? I'm done with feeding my ego. I'm done with all those suffering patterns that are holding me back. I'm done. Are you done? Are you done with reacting from ego and feeding your ego and defending your ego? I'm done. So if I do it unconsciously, okay, bring it up, guys. Let me know. I tell my family. I tell my son. I, I tell Regan. Tell me, baby. I'm here. Every time you see me reacting or coming from my ego, I want to know because I want to catch it in the moment. Instead of like, oh, you're taking that to me. Oh, well, now let me tell you what are your things that are going wrong so you can feel what I feel, you know? I feel the pain because you told me you, you, you hurt me. Like, look at the victim, right? You hurt me. So now I'm going to hurt you more. 
And that's when partners just start hitting each other. Right? Intimate relationships where you love each other so deeply, but you know each other's weaknesses, you start using that as your defense. So you're still really hitting the points. And that, that's where the drama comes. That's where the explosion, that's where the war comes from people that promise to love themselves forever. I've been one of them. I promised my ex-partner, like, we married in front of the fire. We had a son together. I was taking care of her two sons. I'm like, I'm dying with you. I was one of them, guys. I know what it feels. But because of, I, I didn't have the knowledge I have now and the wisdom and the experience, more, mostly the experience of like, hey, stop. Let me look at myself instead of reacting. No, I would react or she would react and it was a mess. It was a drama. That relationship was from heaven. We would be in heaven because she's, she's like an angel, right? But when we came, when something happened and our egos collapsed, we were both very fiery. It was a bomb and it exploded. And many people got hurt, not only us, but our children. And, you know, it's a mess when it, it explodes in the family. And why? Again, because we're feeding our egos. We're, we're reacting from that place instead of stopping and saying, oh, whoa, 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 that touched me. Okay, you know what? Let me take a walk. Let me take a breath. I don't want to get back to you because I know this is war. Let me just take a, take a breath, right? <laughs> Go to the park or whatever works for you, right? Whatever works for you, but don't react. Every time you react, you're not only feeding your ego. You know what your ego is? Right? It's your personality, right? Your personal reality that you have created since you're born. Because your ego, right, can be modified. It's not set in stone. You can modify it. You can recreate yourself. And that's what we do with quantum flow. We go right into the nervous system. Because every time you have a reaction, every time you behave in a certain way, every time you think in a certain way, every time you feel certain emotions, and you keep feeding that... You start wiring and firing your nervous system in exactly the same way. The more you fire and wire your nervous system in that way, the stronger it becomes until it becomes like a, like a cable, like a chain. It's actually a chain because you're chained to your past. You're feeding, nourishing those behaviors that are chained to your past and they become your present reality, but they're based on your history, not on your connection with your soul. So you're living your life based on your history and what you've done, the relationships you've had, how much you've suffered, all the times you've been rejected, all the times you don't feel good enough, all that we're carrying in our nervous system until we shift it. Not just with mindset, you go there, right into the nervous system, right? With the breath, with the activations that we do. You go right there and you start decodifying. You start releasing the synapses. The synapses is the, the connection between the neurons, right? One and the other neuron, they, they're connected, right? And they, they, they communicate like, like light, right? We are light. We're electricity, right? So just a thought, it takes like a millisecond. Just a movement, it's a millisecond, right? And it's millions of them that connect in order for you to move a finger. It's pure light happening in your body, right? So that happens because there's a synapse, right? A connection. Yeah? And then when you're doing the activation with the breath, with the mindset, using all the neuroscience and neuroplasticity and, and all the tools from quantum flow that I'm going to talk about, what happens is like you start opening up those synapses and you start releasing those neural circuits so they stop firing and wiring in the same way. So that angry Juanpa that I thought I'm already done because I'm 50 years old and this is it, I can't change, I'm sorry, and my dad was the same and my grandfather was the same. Or, so you love me the way I am or, or we just finish. We're done. We're done because that's the way I am, right? Of course, if you're that stubborn and that's what you think, of course, that's how you're going to die. But if you have the open possibilities of coming back to your natural state and releasing 
stuff from your past and releasing stuff that you have inherited, knowing that you're not a slave in your family. You don't have to follow those patterns. You can free yourself. That is epigenetics. That is, that is part of what we see in quantum flow. Epigenetics, you start waking up the dormant DNA so you don't depend on all that heritage that's been followed one after the other in your family. How amazing is that? But once you're aware of it and, and once you know how to shift it, then you can break the chain and be free. So that part of your ego that reacted, that say no, that say yes because of a reaction that is hurting others, that's creating drama, that's finding the black spot in the white piece of paper. <laughs> Who's been there? I've been one of them. Always finding the negativity in everything. I've been one of those grumpy guys. You know, it's something I had to shift in myself a lot. And sometimes he comes up in certain days. I'm like, what? What are you doing here? <laughs> All right, I get it. You want some love? Okay, but I'm done with you. I am done. Let me celebrate life. Let me do my quantum flow. Let me move energy. Because I'm not going to feed you. I'm not going to feed those parts of me. I'm committed not to feed those parts of me anymore as a husband, as a father, as a friend, as a teacher, as a human being. I am done. Who's done? Please let me know if you're feeling me and you're done with those parts of yourself that keep coming up over and over again and you don't want to feed them anymore. Yeah, I know there's some work to do. I'm not just saying just, you know, uh, you know, celebrate victory. But the first celebration you do is like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. I let them go. I commit to fire and wire my nervous system in a different way. And stop feeding those parts I have fed for so many years that have brought me the same suffering results. In relationships, in business, in whatever way. Who cares? Wherever that your weakness is, you know, you know. And that weakness, you can work on. That weakness is there for a reason. And it's actually your strength. That's your power. But in order to reclaim your power, you got to learn how to look at your witness. Huh? That's the grounding. That's the first stage of quantum flow. You look at whatever you want to shift in your life. You look at it with no judgment. Okay. This is what I'm manifesting. And this is what's on the way of me manifesting it. All these parts of me. Oh, wow. All right. Bring them on. <laughs> Journal about them, right? Bring them on. Ah. Uh, I am done. I am done. I'm seeing a lot of I am done here. Good, guys. That's it. Because you know. Come on. Let's stop trying to play perfect, guys. Like every day we encounter of these parts of us that it's like, really? Again, Wampa? What? Oh, no. <laughs> and then I'm like, I shifted that mindset. I'm like, oh, yes. Oh, bring it on. Oh, you're showing up again. All right, you're still here. Okay, come on. Let's dance together, motherfucker. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> you gotta, you got to play the game. Because if not, you get too serious, right? I was one of them. Too serious with myself. Too serious with my spiritual path. Too perfect. Blah, 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 right? Too much discipline. You've heard me. Now I work with discipline because I feed my inspiration. I feed my inner drive that comes from my essence. Without caring what they think or what they say, it's because I feel it. That's it. I have no other reason. I feel it. It feels good in my gut to do something or it doesn't feel good to do that. It feels good to say something or it doesn't. And just being conscious that it doesn't come from a reaction. Because you can say like, it just felt good to shout to that person and let them know how much I hate them. I needed to tell them. Okay, well, how do you feel after that? It feels really good. I'm kind of trembling right now. And I go, my energy is all over the place. But I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> they hit me in the face. But whatever. I told them what they felt. <laughs> what I felt. Okay, well, maybe there's another way, right? Maybe there's another way. I've tried that way and it's been very messy <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not into that way anymore I will take it easy I will breathe I will feel into my responsibility why am I triggered let me look at that where is that coming from that's the second stage of quantum flow you alchemize 
you have all the tools to do the alchemy in your body memory, in your nervous system, in your brain, and in your mindset. Because mindset is very important too. You've got to shift your mindset, right? You've got to biohack your mindset. So you start seeing life differently. It's the only way life is going to change. If you don't see life differently, then you're going to try to change life from outside instead of from inside out as a result of what's going on, of your evolution, of your ascension, of the work you're doing inside of you, right? So that's the second stage is the, the alchemy. And the third stage is now, now you come into your power. Now once you've let go of that and you're feeling good, you're feeling more open, you're feeling more free, you come into your power. And your power is your core. And your power is your passion, your gifts, your fire, your energy, your inspiration, your drive. You build that up. Right? That's the third stage of, of quantum flow. How to build that up in you so you can thrive from that space. And then after the core comes radiancy where it's you shine bright. You share your gift. You own. You release your imposter syndrome. And you're like, you know what? This is me. Yeah, I love to help. Yes, I love to see people shine. Yeah, I love to see myself shine too. Yeah, I love, I love abundance. I'm here to live in abundance. I own it. I know it's my birthright and I am embodying it right now for me and for everyone. Because when I embody it and when I share it with the world, I help everyone do the same. When, I, when it's coming from my soul, not from my ego, not from me, 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 this is for me. No, it's like, yeah, calm abundance, this is for all. Come abundance, this is for all. Come abundance, I want to teach it to others. I want to let others know how they can tap into abundance through their bodies, their minds, their emotions, their energy, their spirit, because it's all one. When you have that mentality, you're in the universal flow. It's not your ego pushing against and getting that greediness for you, for your own little thing. It's for the whole. And yes, you can have your trips, you can have your adventures, you can take it easy, like life is here to enjoy. I'm not saying give everything away, but you always have that in mind that there's a win for all and you're always giving back, always. It's incorporated in your lifestyle, at least in mine, and it feels so good. It feels amazing to incorporate as part of your business structure, contributing back to earth, back to humanity, back to life, in whatever way that feels good. It feels amazing, right? And that's the radiancy. You contribute, you open up in whatever way that is. And you open up to receive. Because you can have, as we said the other day, you can receive the lottery, right? You can win the lottery. And then what happens? You win the lottery and you don't have the space to hold the money, the money goes away. So fast, and then you're like worse because you felt what it is to have the, the money and what it is to live in luxury, but now you have nothing. And now it's worse than it was before because <laughs> now you're craving that. Now your ego had the taste. <laughs> and you didn't build that container. You need to build the energetic container. That is the radiancy. That's what we work in quantum flow. You build that container to hold the love, to hold the energy, to hold the money, to receive, to open up, to receive everything that's available to you. But if you don't open up to it, you'll come and go, you'll come and go. There's many people that make tons of money and they never have money. I see that all the time in my clients. They don't have that container. They have a container and it's full, full of holes. It's full of holes. And there's people that have much less money and they feel they're millionaires because they know exactly where it goes, what to do with it. They live in a very like simple way and they feel they have way more than enough. They give away. <laughs> Look at the difference. It's your container. It's your capacity to receive. It's your capacity to contain love, energy, money, electricity. Because once you open up your nervous system for the right amount to electricity to flow, electricity is life. Electricity is inspiration. Electricity is creativity. And once you reset your nervous system and it's not contracted by the memories of the past and by, by all the energy that has been there set because you didn't, you didn't know how to express it, all the emotions, all the thoughts, all the traumas, all the wounds, whatever's there has contracted your nervous system, your electricity is flowing at 10 or 20%. How is your life gonna be? 
You can drink all the coffee you want. You can eat all the sugar you want. Keep doing that. You can read all the books you want. You can say all the affirmations you want. If your nervous system is 10 to 20%, guys, you're going to be pushing it and accomplishing very little. Because the core of it all is the amount of electricity flowing through your body so you can live in real inspiration. So life can flow through you. That is the flow and that is the fifth state of quantum flow. That in that stage, we work, for example, in the training that many of you are, are going to be doing it already because I'm going to be giving more scholarships than what I said, just so you guys know, because I'm very inspired by you. Just a little commercial. I'm not just going to be giving three, all right? I'm going to be uh, reaching out to you guys, actually, personally, because I'm very inspired. So I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not constricted to three anymore. Just, just so you guys know, right? But when you enter that fifth state that many of you are going to be doing, that fifth stage of quantum flow is when you enter the flow state. So it's not you trying to accomplish something. It's not you trying to dance beautifully or you trying to have the perfect business in the perfect way. No, it's you being you, authentically you, letting the energy flow through you. And once you're fully authentic, you're fully you, you're fully in that beingness, in that presence that nobody can give you, only you can embody, right? Once you're there, there's synchronicity. All of a sudden, a new opportunity here, a new client there, um, a new project, doo -doo -doo, a new business that opens up, a new idea you just had on a dream or on a meditation. I don't care. It starts flowing. Not because you affirmed in Facebook that you're going to receive a million dollars next morning and there's a million comments saying, I affirm, I affirm, yes, yes. And people keep dreaming on this, living the worst life ever, dreaming that the life one day will be better. Not because of that, because you've done the work. You've done the work on your nervous system. Now your electricity is open. Now you're flowing. Now you're thriving. Now you're ready. Now you're rocking it. Now you're living it. You're being it. That's the synchronicity, that energy that attracts people, things, experiences, energies, thoughts, emotions, projects, business, everything that is aligned to that frequency that you're emitting because of the work you've done in yourself. Because you are conscious of those parts of you that you're shifting. You're conscious of those parts of you that you have wired and fired in the same way and you are done. You're shifting them. Because now you're conscious of them. That's all. You're just aware. And you have certain tools to work on them. Now you're in flow. And now your life becomes flow. More. Your life becomes flow. More than you can even dream of. Right? It's, it's crazy how it's like one after the other after the other. That is the flow state. That, that's what we deserve. That is our birthright, guys. It's our birthright to live in the flow state. That's who we are. We are here to live with ease, grace, and flow. And I'm not saying it's the woo-woo-ness. You've heard me. I'm not talking about the woo-woo-ness of like, oh, life is perfect. Yes, yes. I love you, brother. I love you, sister. Namaste. Ah, oh, I'm feeling angry. but No, no. Oh, but I'm feeling jealous. But what the fuck they're doing? Oh, my God. Who the fuck do you think you are? Hi, sister. How are you? I love you so much. Oh, yes. Oh, but he's not a vegan. Oh, fuck. Fuck you. He's not spiritual. He's not a vegan. Oh, hi, sister. Hi, brother. Oh my God, what is this we're living, guys? In the name of spirituality, judging others, tagging others. Full separation in the name of spirituality for real? Let's get raw and real with authenticity. I don't care what you're eating. I don't care where you're from. I don't care the color of your skin. I don't care how, money, how much money you have. I don't care. Just be you. Be you. That's your spirituality. That's your enlightenment. And refine whatever is not aligned to you. Right? All those parts that oh, feel dodgy. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm envying those people. Oh, I have jealousy. Oh, I feel I get angry. I get frustrated. Okay, that's good. Welcome. Welcome the shadow. Because you're not the shadow. But it's part of the human reality. That's why we have a body. Because we are here to choose we have free will to choose between I choose the light or no, I'm going to choose the darkness. I'm going to get angry. I'm going to hit that person. I'm going to shout now and tell everybody to fuck off. I'm going to steal that thing and nobody's going to find out. 
whatever that is, I don't care. I'm not judging. I've, I've been many of that. And I know how bad it feels at the end. Deep, deep inside, you can't run away from yourself. Deep inside, you know what's going on. You can lie to others. You can try to lie to yourself. You can post the most amazing photos on social media. But you can't run away from yourself. Deep inside, you know. Deep inside, you know. And it's like, you have some music inside and you're not sharing that music with the world. That's all that's happening. And that's why I've been so focused on the brain, the mind, the nervous system, the body, also the muscles. Not to have ripped muscles. That's, that's as a result. That could happen, but you don't need it. You don't need it. If that's what you want, then it feels good. And I've had people, you know, doing quantum flow one month and after a month, they, they, they've lost 30 pounds and they're like pff, super fit and ripped. And, but if it happens naturally, that wasn't even their intention. You know, it happens when you come back to your natural state. Part of that is you come back to your natural weight. But not because you're on a diet, not because some external reality, because now the magazine says this is the new fashion and I have to look like them. You know, it's ridiculous. No, I'm talking from the inside out. So you start doing the work, you start doing your flow, you start doing your breath, you start releasing. A lot of what you release, it's in the fat cells too. And the fat cells are not being released because it's full of toxins. And the toxins are also being reflected from emotions. It's not just the toxins of food. People think, I have so many clients coming like, oh, a detox, a detox, oh my God, yeah, amazing. I'll do the detox and I'll fast all day. And they do green juice and stuff and they don't even lose weight. Because they're not working on their subconscious mind. They're not working on their emotions. They're not working deep inside. When you detoxify your body and you work deep inside yourself, guys, you can, you'll can lose all the weight that's unnecessary in your body. Because you're letting go what's attached to it. The toxins get attached to the fat molecules. But if you don't detoxify them and release them, and you don't release the emotions attached to them, because emotions are energy, it's energy in motion that actually has stopped being in motion. So it's stopped energy in motion. <laughs> if you don't release that, you won't release weight. It's, it's, it's all the same, guys. There's all related. And that's the integral way on working on yourself, on working on your body, on working on your mind, on working on your emotions, on working on your spirituality. That's, that's the real way to do it. Okay, we're back again. That's good. All right, guys. I think I've talked a lot. That's the sign for me. That's it. You have arrived, Juanpa. I got very inspired. <laughs> Please let me know. I would love to hear from you. If you were inspired by this and you want to share it with others so they can get raw and real with themselves, please share this live stream. Please tag people here. If you want to be part of the scholarships and you want to be part of this quantum flow um, certification and quantum flow training because it's an inner master training please write down scholarship I want to hear from you I want to give um, as many opportunities as possible so um, I will reach out personally to you okay I was planning to give the three winners now in the live stream and then I'm like first of all I don't think there's three winners First of all, and then, uh, I want to do it personally. I want to reach out to people personally because I've been really touched by your stories, guys. And if you're watching this live stream for the first time and you're inspired by whatever I shared and you're inspired by learning more about the quantum flow method, let me know why you want to go deep into into alchemy, into transformation, and, and what are you going to do with that tool with the world? What are you going to do with that tool? In your community, in your family? I want to know your intention. I want to support you. I'm very inspired by everything. I've received so many emails. I've received so many messages. The last le Facebook Live was, in Instagram Live also was incredible, of all the comments, everyone sharing why they want to do this process and, and, and 
who are they going to help and, 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 and how committed they are. I want to know that about you. Yeah? So please write about that. I want to hear from you. And if you're writing scholarship, yeah, please, if you haven't written before why you want it or why you want to do this training, I want to hear from you. Please write it down here because I won't reach out to you if you don't write down why you want to do it. I need to hear your why. Your why inspires me. Okay? Your why inspires me. I want to hear your why. There needs to be a why deep inside. It can't be just like, oh, I just want to learn it. Oh, I just want to be like you. Oh, I just want to be in abundance. Oh, okay, I'm not going to reach out to you. Sorry. <laughs> and maybe you still don't have a big why. And it's okay. I love you anyway. Let's keep going, you know. But this process, this certification is for a big why. You are really done with your life right now. You don't want to follow the same patterns. You know there's there's a bigger vision for you and you're not embodying it and you're kind of stuck. You know there's a next level and you're not, you, you're not accomplishing it. That's what quantum flow is for. It's going to take you 10x starting from within. Okay? So if that's you, I want to know. I want to know why you want to do it for you. And if you don't want to put it here, just send me a private message. Just send me an email. Send me an email to the quantum flow. Just support at quantumflowinstitute.com if you, if you prefer that. Or send me a private message. I'm, I'm super available, especially now. I'm, I'm going to be just seeing all of you guys' reasons why you want to do this. So if that's your big why, you want to really shift your life, you really want to live in abundance, in love, in energy, in inspiration for you and for others, right? Not just for you, but for others. And if you feel a call to help humanity in whatever way, like, I want to hear from you. We need you. We need you guys. We need you right now. I know the crisis is gone and COVID is gone and whatever. Look, look at the world. Look what's going on, guys. And it's going to keep happening. There's always going to be something. And the only way we shift it is being the leaders from within. It's the only way, guys. It's the only way. So let's do it. Let's do it together. We do this, this training. It's eight weeks. From eight to 12 weeks, depending on your rhythm. We go super deep. We support each other. You have accountability partners. You have a quantum flow practitioner that supports you. That's there for you. You have me completely there for you. Like it's 100% it's, it's support for you, your vision, your mission, and your alchemy work. That's what it's about. So if you're ready for that, Tell me why. I want to know. And I'm going to reach out. If you write it down here or you send me an email, I'm going to reach out personally. So wait for a message from me personally. Okay? I'm going to send you a personal message because I want to talk to you and see what's going on and see how real you are. <laughs> yeah, because I've had, you know, I, I'm, I've, I've been doing trainings for maybe 25 years. I used to do conscious living trainings 10 years ago, you know, teaching nutrition, teaching conscious living, teaching breath, like it was a whole thing, right? And uh, I used to do this in Costa Rica and uh, I had many students. We once had like 95 students in, and it was pre pre like presence, right? And it was a whole like six month journey. And I had some students that were so like in love with the work and wanted to do it and I did this kind of exchange I talked to them but you know it was kind of superficial I trusted them and half of them just some of them didn't finish some of them never never like really honored their word and gave back to humanity like we have said like I had bad experiences with that you know but you know, I, I, I healed that I let that go and I'm like I trust I trust I know there's there's good people here that are really ready to change the world starting with themselves so I'll be talking to you I'll be reaching out and we are we are gonna we're gonna thrive together okay thank you all so much for your presence today thank you for your love again if you were touched by this if you know other people can benefit from this please share this live stream that really helps it helps this page it helps sharing the message 
it helps waking up humanity tag people in here if you have people that you know would like this live stream like tag them in here Instagram I can't get back to you because I've seen so many people just but everything disappears when I put the live stream off so if you can just direct message me if you wanna talk to me or you or you're interested in, in going deeper just just direct message me please because I, I I couldn't take photos there's there's hundreds of comments there's hundreds of comments here so thank you thank you but help me with that and, and that's gonna show your commitment if you want to do it you're gonna show up right that's the beauty of it so that's part of the reflection of how committed you are all right familia thank you all so so much Thank you all so much. Ah, feeling so good with all of you. And um, yeah, you're going to hear more of me. All right? I'm going to reach out to see what's going on. Okay? Mucho amor, familia. Keep shining. Keep, keep committing to being the best version of you. And we will keep growing together. Okay? Mm-hmm. Buddha.